Good day, subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Jeremy. This is the Financial Education Channel, and today we're talking about my three favorite movies about money, about the stock market, and all those kinds of things, guys. So I cannot wait to share this with you guys today. All the links to all these movies are in the description bar. If you guys want to go ahead and buy them, you should buy them for yourself as a Christmas gift if you have never seen them or for a friend or family member who may enjoy them. So the first two movies I'm going to share with you guys are actually movies that, in my opinion, anyone can enjoy. They're, they're wildly successful movies and anyone can enjoy them regardless of being in the stock market. The third movie is a little more, I guess you could say, boring to people who are not invested in the stock market or interested in the stock market, just so you guys know here. So number one, the original Wall Street from 1987. This is a freaking classic. It's got Michael Douglas in it. It's got Charlie Sheen back before he was a drug addict no, and all those kinds of things. 1987, this movie was made. Uh, Michael Douglas, he won an Academy Award for his acting absolutely an amazing movie. What this movie is to Wall Street is like what Scarface was to gangster movies, right? Scarface is like a legendary movie even nowadays for like the gangster movie drama uh, genre. This is what Wall Street is to the whole Wall Street sector and stock market. Absolutely phenomenal movie. You can learn so much about this movie. It can really open up your mind, especially if you're a beginner and you don't know a lot about a lot of the things that go on. Because a lot of the things that go on in this movie with insider trading and a lot of those kinds of things, guys, that stuff still goes on nowadays. And it will really open your mind. I would say this is the best movie you could possibly watch as a beginner in the stock market. Not because it's going to necessarily scare you. It's just going to prep you. It's just going to prepare you to understand what's really going on out there. What are some things that go on? And it's just a well done movie. Phenomenal. Like I said, this movie could be enjoyed regardless if you care anything about the stock market. People love this movie. It's one of the most popular movies from 1987. Unbelievable movie, Wall Street. My number one movie probably ever of any genre of movies. Number two, we have a movie called Family Man with Nicolas Cage and Tia, Tia Leone. And this movie is fabulous as well. This is another movie that can be enjoyed by families, can be enjoyed by really anyone. Basically what the plot is for this one, Nicolas Cage is a super successful person on Wall Street. He's making millions and millions of dollars a year, right? But he's never focused on family. He's in his 30s, mid-30s now at this point. And he goes to sleep, you know, Christmas Eve. And then he, the next morning when he wakes up, he gets a glimpse of what his life would be like if he focused more on family and those kinds of things. And at first he hates it. And then he falls in love with the kids and whatnot. And he realizes then the glimpse is over toward the end of the movie and whatnot. But this is an absolutely phenomenal movie, guys, because it, it gets to the importance of that a lot of us that are driven in life, a lot of us that are driven and we are motivated and whatnot, right? Sometimes family can get lost in those kinds of things or, or, you know, thinking about, you know, finding a wife or finding a husband that can get pushed back because you're so focused on your career and those kinds of things. That's what this movie really gets at. It gets to that, that work-life balance of, of how do I balance a, a family life with balancing success in my career or success in me in life other than just family. So that's what this movie gets about. And I just think it's such a phenomenal movie. It's, it's a very much a Christmas movie because it takes place at Christmas time. And there are some great lessons to be learned here, guys. It's one of my favorite movies all time. I watch it almost every single year around Christmas time. And I just think the message is phenomenal behind it. So you might want to check that one out, guys, there. Number three, this one, you're probably only going to be interested in it if you are actually interested in the stock market, legitimately interested, because I've shown it to people who aren't that interested in the stock market, and they think it's kind of boring. It's called Margin Call. I think it's a phenomenal movie. It didn't do any type of crazy numbers like these other two movies did or anything like that or win Academy Awards, but it's a really phenomenal movie. This is more into what happened in 2008-2009 financial crisis and the housing market bubble and whatnot and how leveraged some of these big banks were and how ugly it got and whatnot. I think it's just a phenomenal movie, guys. This will, at the same time, like I talked about with Wall Street as far as opening your eyes on some stuff that goes on, this will open up your eyes to some stuff that's still going on now, but stuff that was way out of hand was that some of these banks were doing and how it took down the entire economy and how 
honestly, some of the, the ones that were behind all these <laughs> margin calls and behind all this leverage and whatnot, how some of those people made out like bandits and got golden parachutes and how all the regular people suffered so bad from decisions that were made from some of these multimillionaire, billionaire people that were making these decision guys. So this is a phenomenal movie with Kevin Spacey. I hope you guys enjoy it. All three of these movie guys I would get if you're really interested in the stock market. If you're not that interested in the stock market and you watch this channel mainly for like the personal finance and entrepreneurship, then I highly still recommend Wall Street and I highly recommend The Family Man. Both awesome movies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, guys, and have a great day.